Hey, welcome back to Black Lab Garage. Today I want to show you how to put a a Holley carburetor on a 390 intake. But not just any Holley carburetor. A Holley 4011. Spread bore. Because they don't really make an adapter to do that with. Yeah, they got those old cheap Mr. Gasket open hole adapters. I don't like those at all. So I want to show you how to take an Edelbrock four hole adapter and how to make it work. Because these are actually made to uh, put a square bore on a spread bore intake, not vice versa. But I want spread bore for the fuel mileage and power. So. You wanna know how it's done? Come on, let's get into it. Alright, we got here, this is Edelbrock's square board a quadra jet adapter so you actually you're supposed to bolt this down to your spread bore intake and then put the studs in here and put the square bore on well we're going to try to do the opposite I know they make those big open hole adapters I don't like those I like to keep it separated if at all possible so I want to drill these holes out where the studs are supposed to go and who knows, I might be fixing to just screw up a $40 adapter here. Now then, take this drill bit here, which is, let's see if I can read the size on it. It's a one half. It's a half inch drill bit. But I've also, you can see I've changed the uh, taper on it where it doesn't have nearly as much taper while drilling. Check it every so often. Almost there. Now as you can see, if I can get it to the right angle, there's still plenty of meat in there. If you're worried about drilling it too far or drilling it too thin.
go. I'm gonna clean these metal shavings up before the dogs try eating. All right, let's see if this contraption works. Which first and foremost, I like to use these thick heat insulating gaskets. You don't have to. I mean, that's totally up to you. I like to though. So we'll lay that on there. So you top front. Okay. I don't really see how it makes a difference, but according to them, it does. Now, the bolts that come with these are these. That's what comes with the adapter. Obviously, they're made for a quadrajet. So I went and got some stainless Allen head bolts. And we're going to drop those in. I guess I better do that so they don't fall out. Dang it, I know he's a hole there somewhere. There it is. I'm going to tighten these up. Now, take a second heat insulating gasket because, I mean, can you ever have too many? Ignore the dogs slurping in the background. They don't ever make any noise till I start making a video. Well, there you go. They're all on there. I've still got to tighten them down, but you can see they're all on there and they all function like they're supposed to. No binding. So that is how you mount a Holly 4011 spread bore on a 390 or any other square bore intake. I mean, think about it. I, you know, because I was trying to go for the look that they would have had back in in this truck, but the time you put your breather and stuff on it, I mean, that looks a whole lot like an Autolite shoebox or a 4100 carburetor. Is anybody going to know what the spread bore? No. So I hope this helps some of you. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. You know, because that does help me out. Uh, I got dog food to buy. <laughs> but me and the pups, we sure do appreciate all of you. Uh, got any questions, just drop a comment, email me, whatever. And stay tuned. I'll be back with some more. Appreciate you.